All right, everyone, welcome to Pharmacy Stone Call. We're going to try to get through these calls quickly, so can I keep it succinct? Alfredo, welcome to Pharmacy Stone Call. How may we help you? Yes, good uh, evening. How are you today? Pretty good. How are you? I um, guess I'm doing better than usual. I come to your store all the time. Yes, ma'am. How can we help you? Okay, I got three questions. One, uh, a couple of years ago, I was went, uh, was sent to the emergency room. Well, can, well done, hold on. Let me. Can, uh, can we cut it down to hey, one so we can get to everybody else on the phone? Because we, we're running short on time. I want to make sure I get everybody in. Just give me your most hey, important question. Okay. What can a person do when you're sleeping in the middle of the night and your legs have cramps in them? Okay, where I'm from, that's called a Charlie horse, and a person can make sure that they are taking enough potassium. So that can either be in the form of orange juice or a banana. Well, I was, my doctor told me I eat too many bananas. Well, that can't be the case because your potassium seem, appears to be low if you're locking up like that. Yeah, I mean, it locks up to the point where I'm paralyzed, and I can't move for at least 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah, I think it's your potassium, ma'am. Okay. Mm-hmm. My other question is, um, I was told that I have diabetes, Okay. but it's not one and two. It's pre-diabetes because of my um, blood pressure was 199 over 80, mm -hmm. and so now they diagnose me as a diabetic, and I'm on uh, a metapine. Uh, yeah, I'm low to pain? Yeah, and I take my sugar every morning. Lately, it's been like 102, 109. And I don't see why they say I'm a diabetic. I don't either because those blood sugars are fine, so I would get a second opinion from them on that one. Yeah, I've been taking this stuff for two years, almost three years now, and I'm like, why are you classifying me as a diabetic? Okay, but let me let me uh, let you go here so I can get to the other callers here. We're running short on time. All right, thank you, ma'am. All right, bye bye. Terry, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. I'm going to help you. Hi, Dr. Pruitt. Yes, ma'am. How you doing? Uh, Fine, thank you. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to call in and let your viewers know that the success that I've had with the CBD oil that okay. I've been purchasing from your pharmacy. Yes, ma'am. I've been on it now for about three months, and it's helped to alleviate pain that I've dealt with for 20 years um, that other medicines don't. Okay. Uh, it's also, it helps you to relax. It's just helped me all the way around. So I, w I wanted to call in and let the viewers know that it's been very successful with me. Okay, well, I appreciate your call. You're welcome. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, bye-bye. Pharmacist on call, may we help you? Hello? Very successful with me. Okay, well, I appreciate your call. You're welcome. All right, <laughs> Okay. Pharmacist on call, may we help you? Roy? Oh, yes, yes. Sir, how can we help you today? This is Roy. Uh, I have one question. I'm now, I'm 100 years old, and I'd like to find out if I could take a sleeping pill. I have trouble sleeping. Something safe that I can take every night. Something safe uh, would probably be GABA, G-A-B-A. -A. Congratulations for being 100 years, first of all. Yeah, G-A-G-O. G-A-B-A, -A, GABA. Okay, thank you very much. All right, yes, sir, thank you. Man, big shout out to Roy. Pharmacist on call, may I help you? Yes, Debbie? Yes, ma'am. Debbie, yeah, that's you. How are you doing? Okay. Okay, doing great. How are you? Pretty good. What can we get for you today? Okay. My adopted son um, this summer began to uh, experience amnesia with PTSD. Mm -hmm. um, he also got hit in the head so a little bit, so we don't know if the hit in the head started it or but he has been through a lot of tragedy in his life mm -hmm. so he was on Zoloft and then at night he's on Seroquel okay. and um, so the doc, the neurologist put him on Aricef mm -hmm. and he's begun to have like real aggressive behavior and um, so we were just wondering because he does really great on the Zoloft and then the Seroquel at night, but of course he still got the amnesia. We're we're still praying about that. But um, and we were wondering about the C CDB oil or CBD oil for the post traumatic stress. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. 
uh, I would recommend it. But first of all, the Dinepazil, I'm not sure if that's a good choice because I think that actually is going to increase the dopamine uh, in his okay. brain and that is responsible. That's why you're having the aggressive actions. Okay. See, the Seroquel was actually okay. keeping the dopamine down, but the Dinepazil actually increased it. Okay, because she said the, the neurologist said she thinks that he's experienced some dementia from the PTSD. Mm -hmm. But ever since he started the airsoft, he's, he's had the aggressiveness. Yeah, I think it's pushing his dopamine up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I do think that the CBD has a role in it. Uh, so any psychiatric condition, uh, it works yes. on serotonin, works on dopamine, works on all the neurotransmitters. Yeah, this stuff is, is awesome. great. Yes, ma'am. And, and you have it at your store. We so do. I just yes, heard the other lady say you have it at your store. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. All right. That sounds great. Thank you so much. Okay. God bless you. Yes, Thanks. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you. Shelby, welcome to Pharmacist Don't Call Me. We'll help you. Uh, yes, I have real bad back problems. I've had surgery and it's they're telling me my back just weren't and I have so much pain. Yes ma'am. And I take Lyrica 50 milligram two a day. Okay. And my daughter said because she takes it that gabapentin. Gabapentin uh-huh. A 300 milligram would be better for me twice a day than Lyrica. Aren't Aren't they about the same? They are, and so it varies. Some patients may respond better to one versus the other, but you've got a long way to go. Lyrica grows up to like 300 milligrams, and you're just scratching the surface at 50. Yeah. Well, so, now compared to gabapentin at 300 and Lyrica at 50, would that would probably be yeah, yeah, maybe a hundred milligram comparative dose to gabapentin. So, you know, but you could try going up on the Lyrica. If you're getting a little relief from 50, then try going up to the 75 or the 150 and seeing how you respond before jumping over to gabapentin. Do you think Lyrica's better than the other? I think it depends on the patient because I've heard complaints from both sides um, saying that the drug didn't work for them. Some people are great on Lyrica. Some people are great on gabapentin. Nerves in my spine all up is pinched. Yes, ma'am. And the bones around my desk are all breaking down. Okay. And my spine is just wrong. Well, you're probably going to need to be on uh, chronic pain management outside of the Lyrica if you're not already. I just don't want to do that. <laughs> then, then look at the hemp oil. Look at the CBD oil as an alternative then. Hemp, hemp oil? Yes, ma'am. This is good stuff right here. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I live in Kentucky, so it would... They sell it there. Sir? They sell it there, too. Okay, mm -hmm. and real quick, I want to ask you, I've been having a problem for over a year with the real low sodium. My sodium is 130. Okay. And the doctor has, don't know what it is, except he wants me to cut back on my water intake. Okay, let me answer you off air because we're up on another break here. So I'm, you stay on the phone here, but we're going to be right back. Y'all stay right there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 